Hello, this is Broyer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for F1 Manager 22 as we continue our run here from a worst to first. And uh, obviously, we've got several seasons ahead of us. <laughs> we are a long ways away from even getting out of that ninth, tenth kind of hole that we're in right now. Um, team upgrades done. This is the team hub. Weekly experience gain. Team attractiveness. Uh, I think we're actually going to probably upgrade you again. Give us a little bit more of a morale for our staff and drivers. All the morale boosts that we can get right now would be helpful because we're going to be losing a lot and we need our guys to be like, you know what? We don't care if we lost. We've got a good headquarters back home. Um, and Dongo, obviously again, low morale all around. Uh, let's see here. If we go to cars. So you're okay. Again, we've got to really just settle in for the rest of the season. I've been going very aggressive just to kind of see how it plays. And and honestly, if we even had, if we were actually pushing for first places and stuff like that, we, we know that we can't go as aggressive as I've been going, quite frankly. Um, we've already gone through three gearboxes. We have one gearbox left. So yeah, any extras that we add will cost us, cost us, you know, and it's not that we can't have them. It'll just cost us. And we're also on our uh, second engine. So no, we, we've really... We've really got to we've got to play it safer the rest of the season, which may make this may make this boring. But again, all of our stuff is going into foundation more so than anything else. Just wish I knew how much we're gaining in some of these things. I, 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 there's just nothing that says anything, right? Like, am I missing anything? Hey, you have development point. Um. kind of want you to continue to be like good at something uh, i think rear wing and side pods is what we were starting off with earlier so let's put a point in rear wing we'll just we'll just have something that we specialize in all right um i guess there's nothing else really for us to do right now then to continue I want the fastest lap, all the fun jazz. Unlikely to happen. The battle is surely going to rage this weekend. Welcome to the Green Hills of Austria. The Red Bull Ring hosted its first Grand Prix in 2014 and it's been spectacular ever since. The Red Bull Ring is one hungry beast of a power track. Drivers face a steep climb up to turn three and a fast ride downhill through wide corners and straights thereafter. There's plenty of opportunity to overtake here, especially with the help of three DRS zones. We're about halfway through the season now and there's still plenty of time for everything to change. All eyes are on the teams and how they tackle the rest of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. Very cool. All right. Wow. Heavy rain on Saturday. Fun. Let's start car knowledge or part knowledge is getting good again. For more. Yeah, I mean, as long as we can keep this type of stuff going, I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, our gap to McLaren is not insurmountable. Now, that's that's a single lap, you know, example, but still. Yeah, I mean, if, honestly, if we pushed our confidence up, there's always the chance that we could... That could help us gain a few, few bits, you know, a bits here and there. And I think we may, we might do that next season. I don't know. We'll have to see. 
Ah, so we're still dead last year, though. Just, just so close, though. Tension continues to build here. All right. Cloudy day today. Excuse me. Um, no rain projected. We're not going to be pushing it very hard, so... I think we put you on softs, but I think we edit this and push the, pull the softs back quite a bit, actually. Maybe we can do these on mediums. Ooh, so close. Like if we run a perfect race, <laughs> I mean, we might be able to make that work. again we're not we're not planning on pushing anymore and you know what we're gonna we're gonna actually we're gonna do yours the opposite it is tight but let's go for it why not All right, cool. Do I have any expectations? Not really. It's sunny and bright. It's the race we've all been waiting for. It's the Austrian Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go. Just settle in and enjoy the show, I guess, at this point. I think there's been a lockup. is enabled. Alright, well let's let's set you guys both on overtake and see if we can get something out of it. Overtake is available. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. Apparently didn't give us anything. Check the DRS. <laughs> All right, well, hang in there, buddy. We're just going to keep it on a pretty pretty easy pace. Right. We're just going to put you on neutral. We'll harvest a little bit, and then we'll just put you on neutral as well. All right, let's just, let's just coast. Don't, don't know. We might lose our ninth place spot with this race. We are so close to these Aston Martin guys. We are, we are not far off from them, as far as like how good our car is. And a new position just gained by William. I mean, if we were actually pushing, I think we'd be fine, right? We could, we could actually pass them. This race is seventy-one laps long. I don't think he's going to hold it, is he? Nope. Like there's been contact. We're in so such tight quarters with those guys. Honestly, it may come down to pit strategy.
We are fighting them so much. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Like there's been a lockup. All right, we are going to mediums. Okay, box, box. Hitting right on schedule, and our tires looking good, so we know we're we're in a good spot. I mean, this is the, not the car that I was too worried about, to be fair. It's really this guy who's going to be going on slower tires here coming up. Place. All right, and we are going to soft, so we are going to actually to a faster tire here. Um, so we might have a chance. Box, box. I, I had him backwards. I thought this guy was going to a slower tire. This guy's going to a faster tire, so we have a chance to. Stay ahead of them. I'm assuming they still have to pit, right? So, like, there's one of them. The other one should be pitting here in a bit. I mean, you're, he's just, this guy's just too far behind. Like, there's nothing we can do. And we can't push him because of his gearbox. So, we'll have to change the gearbox after this race, but it is what it is. So, yeah, we're right on this guy's tail. Oh, that is, that is, that might have lost it there for us to get in that 17th spot. Seems to have been a lockup. Look at that! They've run wide! Alright, well we're 17th now because of the pitting, I guess. But he's right on our tail, so... Oh, how did we suddenly get a... Oh, Vettel locked up. I was going, how did we get such a big gap between us and him? All right, so maybe we can hold it to 17th now. Is that a lockup? This guy is just doing nothing. Why is he... Is it the gearbox? Is that why he's so much slower? Or did something else happen? Something else must have happened. All right, I think we're gonna be able to stay 17th. So, uh, this should still hold hold us where we're at, because I think this is basically an even I think there's been a lockup. setup here. All right, not not the most amazing race in the world, but again, we were really taking it easy. This guy's just so much slower. Alrighty, well, um, we're still up there, still ahead of the Aston Martin guys, and we're still ahead of the Aston Martin here. So we're that's all we need. Oh, I actually don't know if I added your point. Side pod research. All right, how is your... You've got a development point. Okay. You're only about a thousand experience away for your next one. 
Um, I guess reactions. I mean, that's your worst right now. Same for you. What do you guys have bad reactions? Um, I mean, do we keep doing side pod stuff? Is it just going to keep getting better and better? In theory? I feel like focusing in, like I said, that's what we did with, um, Motorsport Manager now. Again, I know this is not exactly the same thing. <laughs> but... I feel like there's some similarities here, right? Uh, we want to go about... 3.1. And we'll do... I guess half of it here, 42. So are we still gaining from what we did last time? I think we are, right? Because, yeah. This looks like it's... Ever so better, server so slightly better. And I think we still want to go for aerodynamics or no race performance, right? Because we don't care about the race going at all because it's going to drop by such a huge mar margin. We want to, you know, minimize how much we're actually putting into that. I mean, we're not gaining much. But we're trying to bump up stuff wherever we can. If we get more engineers, that will definitely help us research things faster. So that's an option. And that comes from the factory? No. Oh, that comes from Design Center, which we're already upgrading. And that'll give us another project capacity as well. So we're, we're okay. All right. Sporting changes. Whole position bonus points? No. Pass the slap bonus point, yes. Oh, no, okay, I see what's happening. So this is telling us what all what currently is in place. And then it wants to know if we want double points for last race. Is that what it's asking for? Hmm. I don't know if I really care. I don't know if it matters that much. At least not where I'm at currently. The only reason this might matter is that, let's say I'm better at developing car parts than the other teams. Just hypothetically. <laughs> not saying that's realistic. But let's say as we continue to progress through this, you know, we get to a point where we have such a good um, headquarters and stuff like that that we can actually, over the course of a season, really develop some parts where... Maybe we're not winning races early in the season, but we start to not winning, but like we start to get some some points later in the season, especially that last race. Then getting double points in that last race because we've done such a good job developing, you know, it's worth more to us. And you know, I, I think we'll vote for it. I don't know if it really matters that much. I think we're a long ways away from points either way. Apparently, they were okay with our race. F1 in school's invitation. Okay. Our annual Aramco F1 in school's world finals starting with the aim to spread awareness about careers in science and engineering through the magnetic appeal of Formula One. We would like to invite your staff to attend the finals of the event this year. Not only does this competition inspire the next generation of engineers in F1, but nurtures wider and valuable skills like creativity and innovation. Your staff would be an inspiring presence for everyone. We've already corresponded with your board of directors and they are in full support of your team's participation. They'd be willing to provide a complimentary bonus payment to make up for the... Yeah, you know what? Our staff is... If it was our staff was like really young and like needed the XP for a week's worth of XP, so be it. But this is not the drivers. The drivers are the ones I care about. And getting a little extra X money, sure, why not? I'm really tempted to bump one of these other things up, even though it's stupid expensive. But the sooner we do it, it's going to make such a big difference. 
The problem is just that up. It's not so much the uh, upgrade itself, which is expensive. It's the uh, upkeep as well. Honestly, uh, I don't know. Not super worried about the factory. Maybe I should be. Also not super worried about the scouts. I feel like, I mean, we're going to be able to scout whatever we need for now. I mean, improving the board road, boardroom, keep our confidence high. Sure, maybe. At some point, we're going to care about the weather center. There's really not much else for us to improve right now, to be honest. Although I will want enough money to do the divine the design center as well. You know what? Why not? I, I keep going back and forth about it. Which one do I want to do? This is a little slightly cheaper monthly upkeep uh, in increase. So we will go for this one. Maybe it's a mistake, because that's a lot of money, but let's go for it. So there's a chassis. So that gives us a few backups, uh, so we should be good there. Oh, I need to check the cars, powertrains. Okay, you're good. You are not. I mean, you're on your last gearbox, literally. So we've really got to just play it safe. I mean, we can technically go back to this one, I think, at some point. But not an ideal solution. We're going to stick with the engine for a bit longer. But yeah, we just got to... That guy's just going to settle. I wonder if there's a very high... I know I've asked that before, but I'm kind of curious. All right. So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to pass, which I'm not super bothered by. Same, same. Oh, no, th it does go. It does change. Okay. So this one is finished position. Cool. So I'm not completely crazy. So it's not the same every week, but it does seem to be. Only a few different ones it's changing between. It's Grand Prix time here in Le Castellet. The very first horseless carriage race was organized in France in 1894. Since then, well, the carriages have only gotten faster. For the Grand Prix here, Paul Ricard boasts a fine collection of low, medium, and high speed corners. The seam curve is taken at breakneck speed right before heavy braking at Bose. This is an all-rounder test for cars and drivers alike. The season is about halfway through, and it makes me wonder what else is in store for the teams. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get this underway. All righty. Cloudy, cloudy, sunny. Today has already seen the culmination. Actually, pretty good setup confidence. has arrived all right 
no sun or no rain, I should say. Um, I mean, I'm kind of okay with this, although we are on the hards for a very long time. But that might be all right. And then I'm going to actually start you off on the mediums and then switch. The, I think that's fine, too. All right, we're going to go with this. Um... Again, not expecting much from... Well, I'm, I'm expecting a 17th and a 20th again. And it's lights out, and away we go. We'll see. Williams there gaining several places in one go. Apparently we had a good start. Don't think that's going to stick around, but it's nice to see. Um... I don't know. Let's just mess around with this a little bit. And McLaren with a great overtake. All right. Well, we tried. I don't think it's going to stick. I mean, the McLaren's just going to pass us. It it's inevitable. It'd be nice for us to stay 17th and 18th, but I don't expect that. Gain a position. Looks like Aston Martin have just gained a race position. We could be a little bit more expect uh, uh, aggressive with Theo stuff, but. I mean, we're still in the we're still neck and neck with them right now. I mean, we're we're, we're definitely in a group of our own, us and Aston Martin. Did somebody spin out there? Hoggers on the um, slightly faster tires, not by much. Speaking of tires, like how are we looking here on the tires and stuff? Yeah, lots of mediums, lots of hards, so. Nothing too crazy. Starting to lose some ground on Vettel, though. Starting to lose a lot of ground on Vettel. Because we're really not pushing anything at all. Too scared to push. But I, mean, I guess we could push more fuel at the very least. That's not going to run the engine down much, I don't think. Oh, I did not mean to ignore. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to go with the hard right. That was planned. Boxes that. Looks like there's been a lockup. Someone's run wide. Sounds like someone's locked up. If we can stay in this kind of setup, we'll be fine. Man, this guy's just struggling.
All right, we're not going to gain ground with this guy in front of us, so we're just going to settle back in. Did I not get a pit notification? Okay, well that was not very helpful. What is my... Oh. Yeah, yeah, okay. I forgot you were going to go to sauce. Haha. <laughs> I just set the pit. You already passed the optimal. So we lost a lot of ground, unfortunately, and we might not be able to make it up this time. I think we, I think we lost the pit game this run. I like to fend off number 20. Doesn't look like that might happen though. Just a little too... I don't know. I don't know how do we... How did we lose 18? Or 17, I mean. It's the pit, right? I mean, obviously it's the pit. It's just... And a new position. It's just unfortunate. I mean, we're solidly in 18th spot, so that's not going to change. But I guess it's that 1920 that we're battling it out for. Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. All right, let's just go ahead and hit it on overtake. And then you're going to go ahead and go to attack. And we're going to see if we can get that place here at the end here. And secure it and keep it. And there's an overtake from Williams. Was that a lock up on the track? All right, we kept 19, so I mean, that's something. Still in ninth, so hanging in there. Hey, development point. Yay, development point. <laughs> Is that the second race of this episode already? Right, it had to be. Yeah, wow. We just breezed through those, didn't we? Oh, all right. Well, that was that was a quick episode. Again, I guess if you're just pushing it really hard and quick then it's just it's not going to take long um yeah i mean we're getting there a couple more episodes of this first season we just did the la castellet Cast Cast uh, whatever you said so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we got ten races left so still a lot left to go this is uh i've actually been to this track Pretty cool. But anyway, all right. Well, there we go. We're going to put a cut in there. Quick, quick episode today. Um, a lot of these are probably going to be pretty quick episodes if we're not doing a lot of um, tweaking to the cars and things like that. Um, we're just kind of settling in and just accepting what our fate is for this first season. Then it is what it is. But I do appreciate you guys watching. May God bless you. And I hope you join me again next time. Thank you and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.